Hello Year 9, this PowerPoint goes through the answers to the worksheet for this lesson. Use it to check your answers or to find out how to tackle the questions if you had any difficulties. OK, so we start with what we know, which is the voltage and the current. And then what are we trying to find out? Well, that's the power. So that tells us then we've got V is equal to 20. We've got I is equal to 3. And we're trying to find power. So we're looking for an equation with all those things in. So that gives us P equals V times I. Then we put the numbers in underneath. So that's 20 multiplied by 3 equals 60. I'm going to worry about any of the units. 60 goes in as the answer. And we've already been given the units. So that's our job done. OK, so we know the voltage is 20. We've got energy is 300. And we're trying to find the charge. So we just jot those down. We've got V equals 20. We've got E equals 300. And we don't know the charge Q. So we're looking for an equation that has all those things in. That leaves us with E equals QV. Put the numbers in underneath. 300 is equal to Q multiplied by 20. We now need to reverse math so we can work out what Q is. So the 20 is going to go underneath the 300. We've now got 300 divided by 20 gives us 15. So the answer is 15. It's asked us for the unit, which is coulombs for charge. So then we know the voltage, we know the current, and we're being asked to find out the resistance of the wire. So again, we're going to jot down what we know. We've got V is equal to 9. We've got current I is equal to 0 0.3. And then we're trying to find out R. So we're going to use V equals IR. And as ever, we put the numbers in underneath, make sure that we don't muddle up the physics and the math. So 9 here is equal to 0 0.3 multiplied by R. Again, we're going to have to reverse mass. The 0 0.3 will go underneath the 9. That gives us resistance is equal to 9 divided by 0 0.3, which is equal to 30. So the answer is 30. OK, we mustn't forget the units. The units is going to be in ohms. The second part of the question then is really just a description question. It asks when the wire is heated, the current goes down. The number is actually relevant here. It says, how does the resistance change? Well, we know if the current goes down, then the resistance must go up. So we can just write a one word answer. It increases and that's perfect. OK, so we've got the voltage and the current and we've been asked to find the power. So again, we're just going to jot down what we know. We know that V is equal to 24. We know that I is equal to 1.5 and we're trying to find power. We don't know that. So we're going to be using the equation P equals VI. We then stick the numbers in. So P is equal to 24 multiplied by 1.5 and the answer therefore is 36. We're already given the units in the question. So that job is done. So the information is now down here. We're told that we've got 230 volts, 800 watts. The frequency there is irrelevant for this particular question. So we've got V equals 230 and we've got P equals 800. Um, in terms of what we're being asked to find out then, we're asked to find the current. So we now need to find that. I. Again, we're going to P equals VI. We're putting the numbers in. We've got 800 is equal to 230 times by I. So we need to reverse math to get the current. That's 800 divided by 230, which gives us 3.48 to two decimal places. OK, so we've got 3.48 is the answer here. The units are already given to us. They're already here. Second part then asks us which of the following fuses. And if you remember, the fuse has to be higher than the current we've got flowing through. Otherwise, a thing won't work. So that means it must be the 5 amp fuse. OK, so we've got power and we've got voltage and we're being asked to find the current. So let's start with the power. Uh, as you can see, it's given in kilowatts. So we're going to have to do a conversion here. Remember, kilo means a thousand. So 2.53 kilowatts is going to be 2530 watts is going to equal the power. The voltage is equal to 230, that's the mains, and we're trying to find current. So once again, we're using P equals VI. Put the numbers in, we've got 2530, that's 230 times I. Again, we need to reverse maths that. So we have 2530 
divided by 230 to give me 11 amps. And again, you can see here it's a three mark question, and that's your um, hint, if you like, to look out for something else to do. In this case, convert from kilowatts to watts. Okay, so we've got voltage and this time charge in coulombs, and we're asked to calculate the energy. So let's identify what we've got. We've got V is equal to 230. We've got Q, the charge, is equal to 13, and we're trying to find energy. Now I need to get the correct equation. Well, that's going to be E equals VQ. Stick the numbers in. E is 230 multiplied by 13, which gives us 2990. And as you can see, we've already been given the units. OK, we've got 1.52 coulombs of charge, and we've got time now in seconds, and we're asked to calculate the current. So we've got Q, remember charge is equal to 1.52, and we've got time is 0.4 seconds, and we're trying to find I. So we know that Q is equal to I times T. We're going to put the numbers in. 1.52 is equal to I multiplied by 0.4. Now we rearrange the equation to get I divided by 0.4, and our answer is 3.8 amps again we haven't been given the units here so we mustn't forget to put those in and that's why there's an extra mark for this question okay there's quite a lot to do here for three marks so this will be a higher tier example of a question so we know that we're connected to the mains 230 volts we've got a current of 0.25 amps we know that the charge is passing through over a time period of five minutes and we're asked to find the charge so we know four things here Let's have a quick look at what we've got. Well, we've got voltage is equal to 230. OK, we do know that the current is equal to 0 0.25. And then we're given the charge in minutes. And again, minutes isn't a standard unit, so we're going to have to convert that. So time is going to equal to 5 multiplied by 60 is 300 seconds. And we're asked to find the charge Q. So now we've got to select the right equation. And this is where we've got to make sure we get it right, because there are two equations that have got Q in it that we might use. We've got uh, Q equals IT, and we've also got E equals VQ, and it's tempting to use the wrong one here. So we do know uh, I, and we do know T, so we can work out Q from the top one. If we try and use the bottom one, we don't have E for energy, so it won't work. So don't be tempted to shove the numbers into the wrong equation. So if we go for Q equals IT and we put the numbers in here, then we've got Q is equal to 0 0.25 multiplied by 300 seconds, which gives us 75 and the units are coulombs. OK, so we know 0 0.8 volts here and we've got a current of 0 0.05 amps and we're asked to find the resistance. So again, we're just going to jot down what we know. We've got B is equal to 0 0.8. We've got I is equal to 0 0.05, and we're trying to find R. So we're going to be using Ohm's law, V equals IR. Put the numbers in underneath first. We've got 0 .0, uh, sorry, 0 0.8 is equal to 0 0.05 multiplied by R. We need to reverse maths now. So we're going to do 0 0.8 divided by 0 0.05 to give us the answer, which is 16. And again, we've already been given the units. OK, this is probably one of the most difficult sorts of questions you'd be asked to do. There's a lot going on here and there are several layers to it. So let's start with what we know. We know the time period is 300 seconds. We've got a charge of 18,000 coulombs and the power rating is 13.8 kilowatts. And we're being asked to find resistance. So let's start by jotting down what we know. We've got time is equal to 300. We've got Q, the charge is equal to 18,000. Now, you'll notice the power is given in kilowatts again here, so we must convert to standard units of watts. Kilo means 1,000, so I'm going to multiply by 1,000. That means the power is 13,800 watts. We're being asked to find resistance. Now, it's very tempting at this point to try and find an equation that fits these things in. There isn't one. R does not appear in the equation with these other things. We're going to have to do something else first. So I'm going to start by looking at these bits here at the top here. I do know that Q equals IT, so I can calculate current using the information I've got here. And that's the thing you've got to think about, is what can you find out that you don't know yet, because you might be able to use it later. So I've got 18,000 is equal to the current multiplied by 300. 
So if I do 18,000 divided by 300, I get the current is equal to 260 amps. Right, so that's that. What else can I do then? Well, I'm now looking at the next bit. I've got P and R, and I've got I now. So we know there's an equation with P, I, and R in it. We've got P equals I squared times R. That would then give me the resistance. So I'm going to put the numbers in. I've got 13,800 is equal to I squared. We mustn't forget to square the answer here. So it's 60 multiplied by 60. I tend to put it in brackets so I don't forget to do the square bit. And that's multiplied by R. So if I now reverse maths it, I've got 13,800 divided by 60 times 60 is 3,600. So if I divide that through, I'll end up with R. And that gives me an answer of 3.83. So I'll stick that answer in here, 3.83. And we've already been given the unit of ohms. It's about the only nice thing we've done for us. OK, so after the last question, this is refreshingly easy. We've got a time period of 10 seconds and 20 coulombs of charge. And we're asked to calculate the current. So we're going to go to T equals 10. We've got Q equals 20. We're trying to find I straight into Q equals IT. Stick the numbers in. We've got 20 equals I multiplied by 10 divide through. And we've got 2 amps. And again, units are already there. OK, another nice question then. We are given 20 coulombs of charge from the last bit of the question and 100 joules of work. Don't be put off by the word work. Remember, work is an old fashioned term for energy. And we're asked to find the potential difference. And don't forget, potential difference is another name for voltage. So we're going to stick in the numbers. So we've got Q equals 20. We've got E is equal to 100. And we're asked for B. So we know that E equals BQ. Stick the numbers in. 100 is equal to B multiplied by 20. Nice easy one this one. 100 divided by 20 gives us 5 volts and again we've already got the units. 